as you can see, I've got two one second clips ready on my timeline pre-composed. Make sure you pre-compose your clips separately before you start. Then go to effects and presets and search for motion tile. Add motion tile to the first clip, then set output width and height to 400 and check mirror edges. Then just copy the motion tile by pressing Ctrl C, select the second clip and paste it by pressing Ctrl V. Then click on toggle switch mode until you see this column right here and enable the motion blur for your clips. Before you proceed though, right click, go to composition settings, go to advanced, Make sure your motion blur has the same settings you see on your screen right now because by default you'll have different values for your motion blur. It might not look as nice. Then just click OK, right click in the empty space, new null object. I'm going to position the playhead in between the clips. Then I'm going to select the null and press Ctrl Shift D to split the layer. I'm also going to trim the upper null so it matches with the length of the second clip. Then I'm going to position the first null about the first clip. This way it will be easy for you to visualize and manage the layers properly. After that, click and drag the parent pick whip tool from your clip number one and drop it onto the null above it. And do the same for the second clip. Drag and drop the parent pick whip tool onto the null above it. And now we can finally start animating. Let's move to the beginning, select the null one, press S key to bring up scale, set scale to 25% and create a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch and go to the middle of your clip that will be 15 frames in my case set scale to 125 percent then go to the end of your clip and set the scale back to 25 percent this will give us a simple zoom in and zoom out effect that we'll need to adjust so it looks better than this let's select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy so you can press f9 as a shortcut then go to the graph editor and if your graph looks different right click and make sure you edit value graph Select the middle keyframe and extend the handles all the way to the sides. For the first keyframe, drag the handle up and match it up with a 50 and the line that goes across. And the same for the third keyframe. Drag the handle up and match it with the line. After adjusting the graph, the transitions will look a lot better and smoother. Now exit the graph editor and let's select the null above the second clip. Again, press S to bring up scale. And since we did the zoom out at the end of the first clip, let's do the zoom out at the beginning of the second clip to match the map and make the transition seamless. For that, set scale to 600 and create a keyframe at the beginning of the second clip. Go to the middle of it, set scale to 100%, then go to the end and set it back to 600. Then again, just drag and select all the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them. Go to the graph editor. Once again, select the middle keyframe, drag the handles out to the sides. Then drag the first keyframe handle almost all the way down. And do the same for the other side, just drag it almost all the way. Then exit the graph editor and preview what you've created. As you can see, just like this, we've been able to create awesome zoom in slash zoom out transitions for your anime edits without using any plugins really. But you can make this look even better if you do have some plugins such as RSMB. For that, you would need to pre-compose everything by selecting them first right click pre-compose then search for rsmb in effects and presets and that rsmb or rsmb pro doesn't really matter to the pre-composed layer and just by using the default values you should get a decent enough result and here is the final preview of what we created in this tutorial if you enjoyed this video and learned something new and want to see more tutorials like this do let me know in the comment section down below i'd like to thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out